Got some background for you on Carl Bookhart. Looks like you were right. His 214 has him in Iraq with 3rd Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment back in 03, discharged in 06, and then he drops off the radar. I'm getting the notion he's kept in shape. Our deserter tells me he's at a cartel base located inside the abandoned Choza Padre silver mine. Find Bookhart, take him out. Killing him will disrupt the cartel's training program for months. Copy that. We'll get it done. <laughs> Get ready. Odds left, evens right. Focus on your goddamn sectors this time. Carl Bookhart, former sergeant, 3rd Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment, natural-born killer. Show me what you got, cocksuckers. Make me hard. Go, go, go! Carl was in and out of juvie from around age 15. Records are sealed, but the pattern is what you'd expect. At 18, a judge gave him the choice of joining the Army or doing jail time. Bookhart thrived in the Army. After graduating from Ranger School, he deployed to Iraq with 3rd Battalion in 2003. He finally found his place and was looking to make the Army his career. And then in 05, his patrol hit an IED in downtown Ramadi. Bukhart didn't take to civilian life. Couldn't keep a job for more than a couple weeks and started having run-ins with the cops again. Started telling anyone who'd listen about how the Army fucked him over. Eventually, he started spending time over the border in Juarez. God knows what Bukhart was looking for down there, but eventually he crossed paths with El Muro head of Santa Blanca security. They share some beers, maybe some blow. Bukhar gets to talking about his army days, and Muro is impressed. He knows the real thing when he sees it. He asks Bukhar to come to Bolivia to train the cartel's army in the Montilla province. And Muro wants them to be the best force of its kind in all of South America. And Bukhar is just the kind of man he's looking for. The kind of man who can run combat drills, show a bunch of morons how to field strip a G36 in two minutes flat. The kind of man who can turn narcos into elite soldiers. We've got a positive ID on the cartel senior instructor, a former army ranger named Carl Bookhart. The guy broke bad when he went to work for the cartel. Now we've got to eliminate him. You really ought to let me drive. Closing in on Bookhart's last known location. We really gonna do this, boss? Kill one of our own? Bookhart stopped being our brother the day he went to work for the cartel. You see him, you take him out. No hesitation. I got a target carrying some machine guns. They're gonna see you. Hold up. Jesus, it smells like a slaughterhouse in here. The hell kind of training is Bookhart doing? First thing a Sicario recruit learns is what it's like to kill a human being. They bring in prisoners and make the recruits take turns on them with hammers and machetes. Sometimes it's men, sometimes women, sometimes it's little kids. And the recruits know that if they hesitate, they're next. Down, you're giving yourself away. Spotted one with submachine guns. Get down before they see you. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Yo, Sicario with a submachine gun. Check it out. Weapons case.
spotted one with submachine guns. You're in bad shape. Take cover. Fuck took you so long. Fucking hell. Frag out. Get shot. Right at us. What's the word, boss? I got a target carrying submachine guns. Oh, here we go. They've seen us. Over, Bookhart. You're done. Got eyes on Bookhart. Target marked. Marking the captain. Grenade, move! Got him. Bookhart's dead. Hell of a way for a stranger. Bookhart chose this. Don't forget that. We did what we had to do. Good work in Montaoc. Losing Bookhart's gonna have a major impact on the cartel's training program. Santa Blanca's best troops are going to be stretched thin to try and cover for the loss. It'll compromise their security and get us one step closer to El Muro. Damn right. The cartel's been calling the shots in Bolivia for years. Now, finally, we're starting to push back. Keep at it. El Muro was going to try to kill me, just as I was going to kill him. Black is for vengeance. White is for safety. Gold is for success. Ahora, I ask you, how can any saint grant contradictory prayers from two different men? It has been my experience that gods always side with the man who has the most money, the most men, and the most power. I had lost the one man I could always trust. 
mi hermano. How many men would be more loyal to him than to me? How much power would he take? Would that be enough for him to take me out? I would always have an advantage, though. I grew up with the man. I knew how his mind worked. I knew his next move before he did. I just had to be patient. Good shooting. Let's clean up and move on. I'll pilot. Out of the cage. Some Unidad coming in. 